and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy Beth. I talk about all things to do with women's health, skincare, beauty, and lifestyle. Today, I'm just doing a really quick catch up to give some of my followers and subscribers a little bit of an overview of the last few weeks of my life. And I also wanted to talk about motivation and how to stay motivated. So for those of you who have subscribed, you will have noticed that I have been kind of silent for probably three or four weeks. And I'm so sorry. Um, one of the main reasons is that I got the flu. I had the flu for two weeks. I was really sick. Um, and then it took me probably a week to get my voice back enough to actually be able to speak on a video. And then life life just happens so um things got really busy so one of the things that has happened recently is the soccer season has started and um my husband and i play soccer he's been playing it for i think he said 20 years however this is only my second season ever i didn't play sport at all as a kid i was homeschooled and my parents didn't believe in sport so i have waited until now so last year was my first year ever playing soccer and it was pretty fun it was challenging um, it was hard, but it was also really rewarding and really fun. So I thought I'd give it a go again this year and we've just started our training before the, the games begin next month. So we're doing that every Wednesday night and it's pretty intense. It's pretty hard. So after our first week of soccer training, I was not able to sit down without it hurting for about four days. So they do work as pretty hard and this is just the church comp. Um, so the church has put together teams, anyone can join, but it's run by the church essentially. And we get together and we have games every weekend and we, we train every Wednesday night. So it's a great way to get fit and have a social life and um, learn some coordination and team skills if you've never played sport like me. It is the end of summer here in Australia. or Well, it was the end of summer at the end of February, so um, which is kind of sad. I look forward to the cooler weather. Um, I really love, I love autumn. I love the colors and the leaves and the smells. And I love blankets and being warm and cozy inside. And I'm also really gonna miss that warm, hot sunshine and just the beautiful warm weather, spending time outside and being at the beach. I really miss that. I really wanted to go to the beach before summer was over and it never happened. I tried so many times and things just got in the way. And then those two weeks that I was sick, I would have actually had time to go to the beach except I was so sick I was just in bed instead. Really disappointing. But anyway, we're moving into the cool weather which is nice and at the end of February my baby brother turned 10 so I'm not feeling quite so young anymore. I guess I'm not really old but I'm 14 years older than him and he's 10, he's double digits. So <laughs> that's pretty Pretty exciting, but also kind of scary that he's growing up so fast. I still think of him as a baby. So that's something else that has happened really recently. Also, turning 10 is a big thing in my family. Um, I have seven siblings. I'm the second eldest. When you turn 10 in my family, it means you're allowed to have hot drinks, like tea and coffee. And um, in, I don't know why, but in my family, there, those are grown-up drinks, and you're not allowed to have them until you're 10. So turning 10 is like a big thing. So that's pretty cool very exciting um, it's kind of nostalgic realizing that he's that age now and seeing just how young he still is yeah looking back and thinking about how old I felt when it was my turn and I turned 10 so another thing that I did very recently was I had my nose pierced um, which is pretty exciting I've always loved I've always loved people having like a little nose stud and I just think it's pretty and cute and I've never I wasn't allowed to when I lived at home um, my parents don't really like that sort of thing. So, and then I realized the other day, you know what? I'm an adult. I don't live at home. I can actually do this if I want. So I did. And I really like it. It's cute. It's pretty. Something new. And hey, if I decide I hate it, it's not that hard to lose it. I've also been running my makeup business um, while I was sick. I actually spent a lot of time scheduling posts and doing things on Facebook. It's one of the things I could actually do while I was in bed. And not feeling that well and something really surprising actually happened recently um, I've been struggling a lot to get sales with my makeup business um, I, I hate promoting to just my friends but um, it's really hard when um, no one else sort of knows about it yet so I haven't actually been making many sales other than I put in an order every month for myself yeah I haven't had a lot of interest However, I recently had someone I've never actually met before or seen before just suddenly started up an online party through me and made all these orders 
and she's since ordered some more even after her party finished and I actually made some really good sales at the end of February through someone that I didn't do anything to get those sales I don't even know who she is so that was really exciting and what that did is it actually took me to what we call yellow status which means I've moved up a level from the beginner to the, the second level of being a beginner so I get um, more commission, a little bit more commission on all of my sales. Yeah, it's really exciting to have finally reached like some sort of achievement in my business. That's so exciting. And then, yeah, just the other night we had a final makeup party with my beautiful friend Emma before she moves away and I got another couple of sales out of that so that was really exciting to actually feel like I'm achieving something still the majority of my sales are from me but it's really nice to see that I've had some interest and I've had some people buying some products and really loving them so that's really exciting for me and another thing that's really exciting for me is recently I was asked by one of my really good friends if I would join her um, to lead a kids songwriting camp. It's run by the Scripture Union, so it's a Christian based one and that's really exciting. I'm really pumped to do that. I haven't done anything like it before. That's that's a lie. I have led at kids camps before, but I've not done anything like the songwriting camp. I actually have no idea what to expect at this stage and that's not going to happen until sort of the middle of the year, but that's pretty exciting um, to be asked to do that and I have been approved to go ahead with that so that's pretty exciting for me and something new something that involves my music which i don't actually get to use very often these days and along those lines i have decided to step up and do a little bit more with my music in my church so i haven't been doing heaps in the last year um, there's various reasons behind that lack of motivation and a few sort of emotional issues with you know feeling really disappointed that my music isn't actually going anywhere and achieving anything so i've decided this year I'm actually going to pursue it a little bit more um, and not for the sake of trying to make it achieve something but just for the sake of trying to enjoy it and, and really bless people with it. So that's really exciting, something I decided to do just recently. And I also went for the first time and saw a naturopath. I've never done that before. It's a little bit expensive but I was encouraged to do that by my older sister who um, she is training as a nurse. So she usually knows what she's talking about and yeah I went to see a naturopath to talk about my skin and my digestion and try and get those things sorted and she was really really helpful she's given me some things to do at home and they are actually very successful so far and they're just little steps and they're not gonna fix everything overnight but I'm really excited to finally have some help that is actually working for me um, it's really hard to find the right thing sometimes and um, I think I have found the right thing this time around. That's probably a brief overview of the things that have happened in like the last probably six weeks. So not that long really, um, but a lot of things have happened. So on that note of getting things done and having things happen over the last few weeks, um, I really want to talk about motivation. I was really not feeling it this morning um, and my husband actually really encouraged me to do something and to, to just make a move do something small and at least I've achieved something. So that really inspired me and so I wanted to do this little video on motivation and getting started. So probably the hardest time to find motivation is when for some reason we have stopped doing things and we've just been in like a flat dead zone and we're not doing anything. It's really hard to pick back up and start moving again which is kind of where I am um, having been sick and having not really made any videos for a while it's kind of hard to sit down and decide that you're going to make something. I've got to put my makeup on and set up my camera and have everything just right. And it can seem pretty daunting. If I'd been a little more motivated, I may have made this video sooner. But talking about motivation and, um, yeah, Brent really encouraging me to take a step and do something small just today and just think about just getting something done today uh, really helped me and it also really got me thinking. And it got me thinking about a bit of a weird metaphor. I'm pretty sure you could get a lot of metaphors out of this. And that was the idea of riding a bicycle. So we always start riding a bicycle on a flat surface. It takes a little bit of work, but it's pretty simple, pretty easy. And that helps us to learn to balance well enough so that when we go downhill, we can stay on. And it also helps us to build up our strength and momentum so that when we go uphill, we can maintain our speed. So I guess I'm seeing this um, in motivation as like we can be sitting there thinking 
you know, the, the, it's too hard. I, I'm just seeing this big hill and it's too hard to, to get up there. There's, there's too much to do and I can't do it because I don't feel it. Um, or it could be, you can see that as soon as you start going, things are gonna go so fast and you don't wanna be moving fast because it's too scary right now. What I encourage you to do is start with a flat surface. And so what I mean by this is start with something small, just one step at a time. Start with something that you can do today. And don't look too far ahead yet. Just start taking steps because once you start building your momentum and you start doing little things, you'll start to feel it again and you'll start to get that forward motion and you'll be ready. You'll be ready to climb the hills or take off down the hill. Being motivated is hard and we often base it in our feelings. That does have a part to play, but in the end, our feelings lie to us a lot. And we really don't wanna have lives completely ruled by our feelings. They play a part, but they shouldn't be running our lives. So if we wanna break past those feelings um, and, and get to being motivated again, we need to start by taking just tiny little steps. So just one thing, just today, um, if that, even if that means just for you, just getting out of bed today, depending on what you're going through, that can be a big thing for someone. So if getting out of bed today is a big thing for you, um, then you can tick that off that you did something today. Um, it can be as simple um, for someone else. It might be as simple as doing a couple of jobs around the house. You might have a list as long as your arm, but if you just pick two and get them done, um, you'll be really surprised at how you feel about yourself and how much more you might achieve tomorrow. And in all of this, I'm really talking to myself because this morning I was not gonna do anything, not a thing. When it comes to motivation, I am not the greatest example. Hey, it worked. Um, Brent encouraged me to do something. I took a step and I got it done and I have made a video. Um, I'm feeling pumped. Let me encourage you to just take a small step today. Just do something will help you in that journey towards getting your momentum back and getting your motivation back. That is the conclusion of today's catch up and motivation video. If you have any thoughts or ideas or questions, I'd love to hear about them. Let me know how you stay motivated. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed week.